Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export banners that you've animated in Figma uh, to the HTML canvas format. Uh, so to do that, we need to install a plugin called Bannerify. Uh, if you haven't already done so, you can go to the top left corner of the Figma toolbar and click on the Figma icon. And then if you go to search uh, or community, uh, whichever one you prefer, and go to the search bar and type in the phrase uh, Bannerify. So that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y. And if you go to the plugins tab, you'll see a plugin called Bannerify HTML Exporter. Uh, so if you haven't installed it, you will wanna go over to the right and click on the install button. Uh, I've already got it installed, so that's why mine has the little check. Uh, but if yours says install, you can click on that and that'll change it to say installed. Once you've done that, uh, you can jump back over to your uh, Figma file. Uh, so I'm currently using the uh, example that uh, is available through the Bannerify uh, description. So if you go to the Bannerify plugin and click on it uh, to see the description, uh, there is a link in the description under additional notes, uh, which will give you access to the file that we're going to be using in this tutorial. Uh, so if you do need to use that, uh, just jump into the description and, and paste that link into your uh, browser and you'll have uh, access to, to duplicate uh, this file that we're using in the tutorial. Okay, so to, to start up Bannerify, just right click anywhere in the project, go down to plugins and then go to Bannerify HTML exporter and click on that. And this will load up the plugin that we've just installed. Okay, so because we're using um, a design that already exists, uh, this particular design has already been uh, configured to have some animations preset. If you're doing this on your own banner set, uh, you will have to just select all these animations yourself. Uh, I've got another tutorial, uh, a very in-depth tutorial about how to actually uh, configure animations and all the neat things you can do uh, to make it really easy. Uh, so you can check out the YouTube channel that you're looking at this video on now for that extended tutorial. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna assume that you've, you've already set up your animations or you're using this example file. Uh, so you can see here, we've already got some animations set. Uh, you, can, you can change those, uh, of course, to, to be whatever you want. Um, so we've got a bunch of banners in here. They've all got the same animation settings. And uh, what we want to do is export this to uh, HTML canvas. So the way we can do that is by clicking on the export banners to HTML uh, button up in the top right. And this reveals the export settings panel. Um, so there's a number of options that we can configure in here. Um, we won't go through all of them today uh, because they're not all relevant to what we're, what we're trying to do. Um, but the one that we do want to have a look at is down here underneath code output settings. And then under export format and platform, it's currently set to vanilla HTML and CSS. So that will export HTML from Figma uh, with CSS animations. Um, that's typically the, the most common format that you'll export, but there are gonna be some circumstances where you need to export to uh, Canvas. So I've just clicked on the dropdown and instead of uh, selecting vanilla HTML and CSS, which is the default, uh, we're just gonna go down to vanilla HTML and J JS, which is JavaScript. And then in brackets, it says HTML Canvas. And then Canvas has got, has got the little um, kind of HTML tag around it. So if we click that, uh, what this is going to do is it's going to, instead of generating HTML and CSS, it's going to, it's going to um, convert or export all of your banners to uh, HTML and JavaScript. And instead of using image tags, it's just going to use a single canvas tag. So let's just have a look at what that looks like by exporting it. So if we click on export uh, banners at the bottom, this little button, so I'm clicking on that. This is generating the HTML for me and then it will start going through all the images and, and saving those and we're done. So it's extremely quick. Uh, you'll get a little save dialogue prompt up here. Um, the default file name will just be 
matching with your document title. So in this case, it's Bannerify uh, Sado Banners uh, Demo. And then you just get a little suffix with the, with the date and the platform that we're exporting to. So Canvas, uh, HTML Canvas up here. Uh, of course, you can change that, but for now, I'm just going to click Save. Okay, so that's saved to our desktop. Uh, all you have to do is double click on the zip file. Uh, that will give us a look at all of the code and images it's just exported for us. Um, so you can see here it's a one for one with all the banners in our project. Uh, they've just got all the dimensions as the prefix and then uh, the name of the frames that comes after that. And what we can do to have a look at them all at the same time is just double click on this index.html file and open that up in Chrome. So that's opened it up in Chrome for us. And uh, if I just click on the play button again in the top right, uh, you can see that they're all basically in sync and, uh, and all animating in. Um, so to get an idea of, of what kind of code that's generating, uh, I'm just gonna open up my code editor and I'll just drag in one, I'll just drag in the medium rectangle and open that up as well. Okay, so this is the code that Bannerify has generated for us. Um, this is the banner that I'm looking at here in the, in the left-hand side, and then I've got my code on the right. Uh, so you can see that we've got a canvas tag. Uh, so it's just a single canvas tag uh, with the dimensions that you'd expect from our banner. Uh, it's got a JavaScript file that's being included, a CSS file that's being included, um, and then a couple of bits of metadata up here uh, and the GSAP animation library. Uh, and then we've got our images folder. So this is uh, all of the images that our banner is comprised of and the SVGs for the text layers. Uh, and then in the JavaScript file, uh, this is basically our timeline. So we've got our timeline for all of the animations that are happening here. and uh, and instead of uh, using CSS, it's using uh, JavaScript to, to dictate those timelines. So this is all being generated automatically. You don't have to know code or, or write any code. Uh, Bannerify will generate all of this for you and uh, you'll get that animation that you can see here uh, on the left-hand side. So that's, uh, that's essentially how you go about exporting uh, Figma banners to HTML canvas and JavaScript uh, based animations. Uh, it really is just just a one click process of selecting the format in the in the export settings and clicking export. And uh, you'll basically be able to go straight from Figma to HTML and uh, not have to worry about coding up anything. It'll just it'll just handle it all for you. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's basically it. If you need um, anything else, you can check out one of our other tutorials uh, that cover other formats that can be exported. Um, but if you're looking for a way to convert uh, your Figma designs into HTML or HTML Canvas uh, specifically, then, uh, then this is the best way uh, to go about it. Uh, we're always trying to improve uh, the plugin. So if you have any questions or suggestions, Always love to hear uh, anything that you might want or, or find valuable um, in Bannerify. Uh, so please let me know. Uh, but until then, thank you as always for watching and we'll speak to you soon.